You know, I've talked about gun-free zones before, as have a lot of people. And believe me, I'm not going to say anything new today. I'm not going to say anything uh, revolutionary or insightful. It's all been said. Gun-free zones are ridiculous ideas. They are basically a feel-good law that just helps punish people that haven't done anything wrong. Like a father who forgets to take off his concealed carry before he walks into his kid's grade school to pick him up after school. They just punish people like that. That's all they do. They don't actually make anyone any safer. Uh, they kind of irritate me. It irritates me to see how usually rational, logical, and intelligent, well-educated people can do such dumb things like support gun-free zones. And you know, today, or actually yesterday, I saw the perfect example of why gun-free zones kicked me off so bad. I was going to my son's school to pick him up, and here's the sign that's on the wall. You know, it's a safe zone. There's no weapons or drugs or anything allowed. Uh, but then if you pan back and look, the doors are propped open. So I guess we're assuming that any bad guy would just obey the sign. I mean, I obeyed the sign because I'm a good law-abiding citizen. I put my concealed carry gun in the safe in my car before I went into the office to pick him up. You know. I sometimes, call me crazy, I sometimes think bad guys probably don't obey signs. I don't think there's any uh, crazed person out there that's out to murder a bunch of children who's going to say, well, I would, but it's illegal to take my gun in there. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And what about bad guys that can't read? They can't read the sign. Well, them are screwed, I guess. So it just illustrates to me how ridiculous this whole notion of gun-free zones are. And how we pretend like, oh, kids don't need security. I mean, we live in a world right now that is pretty safe. I mean, we're pretty safe daily. But when it comes to my kids, I don't want to take any chance. I mean, I get insurance on my car simply because I paid good money for it. So I want to take precautions with my kids too. I want them to be safe at school. Even if their chances of getting harmed is only one in a billion, I still want them to be safe. I feel that they should be safer than, say, trinkets or money. And every time we go to the bank, there's security. Every time we go to the mall, there's security. There's even security when I go to my dentist office. But not at schools. Uh, like I said, why do some people get outraged when we suggest that we should treat children like they're as valuable, if not more valuable, than money or trinkets? But, you know, some people get upset. They go, well, they don't want kids in the school. We don't want to make it a prison. Well, it's not a prison. It's not a prison. We don't make it a prison. In a prison, there's lots of security that are there to keep bad guys in. In a school, there's security there to keep bad guys out. People don't feel imprisoned because of that. They feel secure. Politicians always have security, but they love to say, oh, that security is so oppressive and it makes them feel bad. No, it doesn't. If it does, why do you have it? You have it for your property, you have it for your job, you have it for your office, you have it everywhere you go. If it's such a bad thing and it's so oppressive, you wouldn't have it. It doesn't make people feel insecure to have a cop around. If you go to like a farmer's market or something and they have armed security, they have a police officers that are off duty that are actually patrolling the uh, farmer's market, you don't suddenly go, oh my God, this is a scary place. You go, oh good, there's armed security here. There's police officers here. It's reassuring. And being reassured and feeling assured is the opposite of being afraid or feeling oppressed. So I don't get that argument at all whatsoever. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, I will have to say one thing. Sorry for the little edit there. I actually had to cut. I've got a cat sleeping in a box here behind me in my CZ box, and she is deciding to uh, agree or disagree with me occasionally by meowing at me. But uh, as I was saying, security in schools do not make people feel threatened. They just don't. Now, I know some people will cite some studies that show, oh, some kids don't like cops in the school. and They just don't like the cops being there. And that's true. That is true in some schools. But it's not because of the cops are providing security. It's because of the way the police officers are being used. My son's high school has a resource officer, but he's not there to protect the students. He doesn't do anything to protect the students. He's there to punish the students. When I was a kid, if you got into a verbal argument with a teacher, you know, if you became pig-headed or you had an opinion and you got into an argument with a teacher, you got sent to the principal's office. You got paddled. Maybe you worked in the cafeteria or maybe you mowed the athletics field after school. You actually had a consequence for your actions. But nowadays, if a student gets into a verbal argument with a teacher, they call the resource officer. He comes down, handcuffs them, arrests them, charges them with assault. So now you've turned a teenager into someone with a criminal record who is now living under the thumb of an overreaching criminal system for the rest of their life. 
That's how they use the police officers in the schools, and that's why the kids don't like them. If the, the police officers there were to protect them, not punish them, they wouldn't have such a problem. So, you know, one of the things Donald Trump said in his uh, campaign speeches was that gun-free zones are ridiculous, and he wanted to get rid of them in schools. So, you know, that's what I want to see. Donald Trump, if you want to make me happy and you want to make some other people happy, if you want to do one thing, start getting rid of the gun-free zones in schools. Because, like I said, it's time to start acting like our children are more valuable than some people's money.